All right. How you doing, Eddie? Doing good? Not too bad, senor. Not too bad. I'm still a little tired. Yeah, I bet. You got it's that what... drowsiness. <laughs> fresh nap. That's what happens when you take a nap when you get home from work, man. Oh, did you give yourself a fresh haircut? No, my uncle did. All right. I got myself one, too. Yesterday. So looking good for you guys. I try, man. <laughs> Gotta get a haircut somehow. All right. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of East vs. West. Um, the show that gives you your dose of both coasts, man. Uh, I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Eddie from Edutainment. And today we are doing another coast comparison. Uh, as suggested by... Let me pull up who suggested this, because it was... Um, this was a suggestion that we got in the comments of the last one, and I would love to give him a shout out. Yeah, absolutely. So the the last two that we've done, this one and the previous, have both been suggested by viewers. Right. Let me so pull it up. Thank you for everybody commenting down below and letting us know what you want to see. We appreciate it greatly. Continue, oh, yeah. please. Well, I thought there was a comment on it. Oh, maybe it was on. Maybe it was on another episode of East versus West. You you were definitely reading it off of somewhere. I did read it off somewhere. I think it was off the. Where did I read it at? Oh, maybe the HHN one. Does that have comments? Yeah, it's got nine comments. I think it was off the HHN one. No, okay. we did. If I can get to it. Okay, let's see right here. Um, this one comes out from the HHN cosplayer. Okay. And he wanted us to do 2019, but we took the concept and kind of just did our own year because there's so many great originals from uh, the past. So he said, uh, I know this might not be fair, but you guys should do the your best original house for 2019. And yes, I know we only had two, but to compare both would be interesting. So 2019 we will do on the next episode. But today we're going to do our, our best original because I know that's been one that Eddie and I have been wanting to knock out anyway and tackle. So yeah. today is just best original overall. And then next week we'll do uh, best original from 2019 of each coast. Um, and I, I guess we could say our favorite because it's it's going to be uh, subjective to our opinion, I guess. Right. Before before we get comments. So this is going to be our, <laughs> our favorite uh, originals on both coasts overall in all the years that me and Eddie have been to the event. Um, I started going in 2011, and I think Eddie, you started going when 2010. Um, a little bit before that. Yeah, I think it was before that because uh, yeah, I I don't know. I I've been going for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Eddie's been going for quite some time. I've been going since 2011. So I've seen a lot of uh, amazing original content come in and out of uh, Hollywood side. But today we're gonna do um, HHN 27 in Orlando. Deadwaters is Eddie's. Um, yes, sir. Which was what 2017? Yeah. Yeah. And then mine is going to be Black Sabbath 13 3D, which was in 2013 and hollywood so very nice very nice but before we get into that do you want to go over some of that merch stuff yes we have a merch site uh on teespring descriptions down in in the descriptions down in that oh god yeah that's just yeah. me so on a uh, on knights of horrors teespring we got some merch yep. uh east versus west merch you also got knights of horror merch uh do you have you have face masks you have shirts face masks shirts uh stickers all that fun stuff Two, the, and, two East versus West designs, too. Nice. Yeah, and shout out to to the people who made those. I think one was your cousin and the other one was Losh. Adrian from Losh TV. Adrian from Losh TV. The one that Adrian made for us was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I like it a lot. So now we have two different designs for you guys. Uh, soon to be on, on my Teespring. I haven't touched my Teespring in a little bit, so I need to update it and put our East versus West stuff on there, but it will be coming. I also need to ask add face masks because ever since that's become available, I haven't actually updated my teeth. I want to edit a face mask. I know. I actually want to do that in a kicks and whips. Kicks and whips. <laughs> I want to. Okay. Screw the edit one. I want to kicks and whips one. 
yeah that'd be nice and also guys uh while, while you're looking at all that stuff if you're not able to to go ahead and purchase some some merch uh, a simple follow like subscribe uh goes a long way for both of us so uh anthony's at the knights of horror on youtube i'm at eddie Taman on youtube so yes. um, a, a few subscribes would really go a long way for either one of us let's uh, get eddie Taman to a thousand man yeah man trying to get there yeah all right, man. Without further ado, uh, Dead Waters will be our first one that we start with this week on Coast Comparison. And uh, all right, I'll do the countdown. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get it pulled up. I had it pulled up, but it. Oh man. My... Here we go. Oh god. Oh man. Oh. Oh god. Oh man. Of course, a commercial. Let me get past the commercial real quick. Good old commercials. This is why I pay for premium. Do you pay for premium YouTube? I really? I do interesting all right so and also uh shout out to the this we 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 or the dis uh we typically will look for this on theme park hd because his quality has not let us down right uh, but this time around we could not find this particular house slash maze in his uh youtube so uh, we were able to find it on the disc and it looks like these guys also have a great quality maze walkthrough as well so before we get into this, I'm reading. This is a 2014 scare zone. It's based. It's a sequel to the 2014 scare zone Bayou of Blood, featuring the Voodoo Queen. Okay, I think I remember that. It, it's it's funny when once you go to the event for long enough, the the years just start to jumble together, and no matter how much you love it, uh, it's hard to remember certain years just because you have so much fun at every year. Right. That's cool though. I mean, this was a, a sequel to a scare zone. I don't think I don't think that. HHN in, in Hollywood has ever done like a sequel to a scare zone, though. so this is really cool, kind of further tying tying in. No, uh, yeah, you guys did Holidays in Hell. Yeah, but that wasn't a sequel. That was just a scare zone expanded. Okay. It was a scare zone just with more of a story. Okay, all right, all right. I was trying to give you guys credit. You guys did a scare zone, and then you did a, a house with it. <laughs> it's different. This is like a dirt. This is like an actual sequel. This is like there was Bayou of Blood. Which featured the Voodoo Queen, and then this is the sequel, Dead Waters, has a whole new title and everything. But uh, let's see what Dead Waters has to offer in, in okay. three, two, one. There we go. What is that? Is that a face? Uh, I think that's just the lighting on the facade. The facade is amazing. This is the entryway. Look at this. This is the facade? Yeah, this is like the entryway facade. Like It's like a huge ship. You had a scare right over there to the left. I'm not sure if you caught it. Yeah, I mean, um, it was kind of dark, but... But uh, this this uh, this video doesn't do it justice. That that entryway facade was impressive. And right when you enter in, you're kind of crossing through the boat, but you get this kind of like off-kilter type of feel because the ground, and I think you're about to see it, the ground is actually like slanted. This is cool. I mean, it's like really like a... Like you're yeah, going the, through the boat. The ground here is off kilter, so you're actually like walking sideways. Right. It's like um it's like if the boat kinda like capsized on shore. It's a big boat. Yes. It, it was Ooh. Yeah. As, visually this was one of this is one of the most impressive uh, originals I've seen at Halloween Hornets. And you had like uh, some of the characters had like coral and stuff on their face, kind of like a Pirates of the Caribbean type of feel, the, right. uh, like the black pearl. Okay, now we're outside. Is this based upon? It's supposed to be based upon like the Voodoo Queen's curse or something like that. You know, I, I couldn't tell you exactly. I I went through it without knowing too much of the background and still didn't know that there was so much lore behind it. I just really appreciated it for what it was. Um, Without them. Yeah, there, there's some of like the. Look at the scares. Yeah. And the, the when you were going through here, like the a lot of the stuff was like wet, like if you were in the water. And I think that's like the blue thing, by the way. That's the blue queen. I think so. Look at that. Just a little clicking. Oh, this may be the Voodoo Queen's like layer or something. Yeah. 
But look at this, there's so much going on in the scenes, you know? Yeah, it's hard to keep up with everything until you went through it, man. I, I went through this one twice that year. Damn, All right. It's so short. I feel like it's missing Yeah, something. I think he had to cut a lot. Because I know with media there, I mean, you can only cut in so much. Depending yeah. on the permission you get, but... So take my word for it. It, it, it was impressive to walk through that particular house. Right. Um, and I, I think a, a lot of, like, hardcore Orlando enthusiasts will will uh, reiterate that for you. They'll, they'll let you know that that house is much better than a video could ever do for you. No, I agree. I mean, that goes for anything that you that you see on YouTube. I mean, the real product is going to be better than the actual video. Except for us. We're much worse in person. <laughs> Except for us. Yeah, right. So that was pretty good. I, I enjoyed that. I would love to have seen that. Uh, maybe that's something they bring back for 30-year voodoo, voodoo witch. Uh, you know, uh, I know that there is a uh, a large amount of the crowd that says that that's one of the most like visually impressive originals. Right. I'm not right. sure that there's that, uh, I guess, that support behind bringing it back to like an anniversary year. But that would be cool. That would be cool. That'd be dope. Um, all right. Next on the West Coast, my favorite um hhn original maze it's kind of like an ip but it's an original twist on it if you will um they just use the music aspect of a heavy metal band to make an original maze out of it and that is a uh, black sabbath 13 3d now um this was like my third year going to the event and when i found out they were going to do a black sabbath maze i was actually pretty hyped because um being a metal metal fan, like Black Sabbath is like the pretty much the people who started metal overall. Like they really put a big dent in the genre. Like before that, there wasn't very heavy metal bands, and they really kind of started a genre of music that would forever go on to change the world. And Black Sabbath has always had a special place in my heart. From of course, you know Iron Man. Yeah, they're huge. To, what happened? They're huge. Yeah, they're they're huge, man. From like Iron Man to War Pigs to, you know, all these amazing songs that you've heard over the years, uh, and it's like it, it's it's one of those things where, when I found out they were doing a maze, I was very hyped to see what uh, what was it gonna be about, what, how they were gonna do it and accomplish it, and they did an amazing job. So, Theme Park HD for this one. Theme Park HD is for this one. He actually did a Hollywood one. This is like early Theme Park HD, so. And this was 2013. When did you say was your first year? 2011. 2011, so two so years after your first year. So prior to this, they kind of had like a tradition going where like from 2011 to 2013 – or 2014, you can guess you can count it. But um, yeah, I'd count it. But from all the way to 2014, they would do music mazes. Um, gotcha. I guess they still kind of do that to this day. It's different genre music, but um, like – 2011, when I first went, it was Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare. Then the next year, it was Alice Cooper Goes to Hell. Then it was Black Sabbath 13. F funny you would say that. Did you see my, my post today on Instagram? Yeah, I saw your post of the HHN map. For yeah, 22. it was the Alice Cooper. Yeah. And yeah then, I, I just found that randomly. I was like, oh, shoot. Um, 2014 was uh, Clowns, Music by Slash. Uh, and then 2015, I think they did the HHN uh, like resurrection mazes where figures started getting involved and stuff, and I think that was 2014, 2015, I believe. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess we've always had some sort of music involved with HHN, whether it be metal or, or dubstep. So, have you gone like every single year since you started? Yes, I have not missed a year. Nice. I see. Me, it was a little different. See, I I, I started a long time ago. Um, it has to. It was like while I was still in high school, and you already know that's a while ago. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was still in high school, and when I went to Halloween Horror Nights for the first time, and I did like a pocket of like four years consecutively or three years consecutively. Then I did like a break, two years, a break, and now I've been going like I think like eight years straight. So nice. I think I've gone like a total of like. Somewhere between like ten and fifteen times. I know that like from two thousand eleven to two thousand, I think fourteen or fifteen. I didn't go through like every single maze. I'd always miss like one or two because we would do general admission. It yep. wasn't until twenty sixteen, uh, twenty fifteen. I think we completed everything, 
um, with general admission, but it wasn't until 2016 that we finally started doing front of the line every year, yep. and we've been doing that every year since, um, yep. just so we're guaranteed to do everything. But, um, yeah, uh, I've been going uh, every year since 2011. I've not missed a year. It's kind of a tradition for mine. So this year would have been my 10th year, actually. So Will be. Will be, hopefully, yeah. Uh, but this is Black Sabbath 13 3D. Hope everyone enjoys this like I did. And do the countdown in 3, 2, 1. Got that 13 right on the entry door. So, so this, this was a swamp pen? This is kind of like the opening facade right here. Uh, the song playing in the background is actually the song Black Sabbath. Still one. The song off their very first album entitled Black Sabbath. So it was Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath on the album Black Sabbath. Nice. We're done to see that as best. Is this a, a sprung tent or what is this? Uh, this is a sound stage. Oh, nice. Are, are, are these like scenes based off of like uh, some of the music videos? They don't do a lot of music videos, and when they did, it wasn't like this. Gotcha. Were you wearing 3D glasses? Yes. Okay. Was it one of those years where you had to pay like a dollar for the 3D glasses? No, we never had to pay money for 3D glasses. I think in Orlando we had like one or two years where we had to pay like a dollar for the 3D glasses. Yeah, we never had to pay. Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. Paranoid. I think I tried touching something. I don't know if you saw that. War pigs. This is probably my favorite scene. You actually had pigs. Your people just had pigs jump over the trenches. This is dope. I don't know if I'm showing. Let's see if it's showing. Yeah. Like they had legit war pigs. That was cool. If I if I worked at HHN and got to work anything, they'd probably do this one. Like, I would love to. I'd probably be doing less scary and more heavy. Is the roof typically exposed like that all the time? Yeah. As Iron Man. So go right into electric funeral. This was a cool room, it would flash. And then like it would turn all distorted. So yeah, see that that's basically trying to it's supposed to be a nuke going off. The song's talking about a nuke. Like in the water. Some reason. Toxic waste song. So it's getting quiet towards the end, I noticed that. Be like the aftermath of the nuke. Oh, that's like all this falling. toxic waste. So when you wear the 3D glasses, yeah, those walls are like very, Ooh. yeah, they're very hard to see. So like when scares like that happen, you kind of actually legit like don't. Know oh, I see coming. one guy right there. Oh, I wanted to see. Well, him. they put in dummies too. So, but right. that was Black Sabbath 13 3D. That was probably one of my favorite mazes ever to come to Horror Nights. Um, and I remember just waiting in line to get go through that maze and, and being excited and, and having a good time. I was still at the time where I was still like not too like I was still scared when I went to the event, so I didn't wear three D glasses. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck this!" I remember shit. that. I remember my first couple of years, man. I actually was like completely terrified, and I, I would enjoy it and hate it at the same time. There'd be times when like we would leave before doing the next house, and I'd be like so like happy. I'd be like, "Oh." Thank God. Right. I was not looking forward to going through that next one and shitting my pants. Yeah. But, uh, but that was Black Sabbath, man. That was probably one of my favorite original mazes that has ever come to the event ever. So, yeah, that, guys. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's give our, our opinion of, of each other's. All right. Uh, 
so what I'll say about yours, uh, I like I like the facade, the entry facade, how they were using kind of like a like a church. Like dark, yeah, and it was like glow in the dark paint, kind of make it look like the walls were kind of cracking. Right, and it was like blowing through, and then it would go away. I like that a lot. And that one room where you said it was like the fallout, and those guys were dressed like kind of like in like a green like. Kind of like a all the dots style. and everything that look like yeah yeah dude that looks sick that would be yeah. a crazy freak that reminds me of when uh halloween horror nights at orlando went to um it, it went to uh islands of adventure and right. in the jurassic park area there was guys hiding in against the walls and uh, in the grass in like these uh kind of like a uh, those military like uh camo nets oh damn yeah and, and then um if you've ever seen the entryway to to jurassic park um, it's like the big stone walls, right? Right. There was guys on on stilts dressed as stone all the way up and down, and they would lay up against the wall. And when you would pass by, they would come in the boom, boom, like in freaking stilts. It was freaking crazy. Yeah. That, that reminds me of that scare because they were like, for I didn't notice him at first up till he came out, and then I started noticing that there were some other ones up against yeah. the wall that weren't necessarily moving. They did that a lot too, and uh. Um, the Curse of Pandora's box last year because they use a lot of the same set pieces, which was really cool. Um, yeah, I think with Dead Waters, I, I I'm the same way. I like the the way the facade was. It was a crash sh- ship, and they did a really good job doing that, bringing that to life, and and all those scenes to come like like have a post aftermath of a of a ship crash is really cool. Yeah. But it looks like that ship crash has aged some some time. So it does not look like a fresh ship crash. It actually looks like it's been there for a couple of years and yeah. the people who've died on the ship have just been kinda living in this bayou just kinda getting away. I think I would say from the looks of it it had like that New Orleans kind of set. Um, yeah. Because of the yep. whole the whole voodoo aspect of it. Usually that's where uh, a lot of voodoo popularizes from is, is New Orleans. Um, so that was really cool to see that. And then of course seeing the, the voodoo queen, like towards the end and her layer, just kind of, you find out she's like the mastermind behind all this is, is really cool. So no, I really enjoyed it. Scenic wise, it was beautiful. And then the story it told flowed right through. I mean, obviously they chopped a lot, but, um, no, I think it, they did a, they did a really good job on that. I wish I got, I got a chance to see that one. Yeah. And one thing I could say is both of them as original mazes were pretty short. They were a lot yeah. shorter than our, than our typical maze walkthroughs. Yeah, I mean, luckily for Theme Park HD on Black Sabbath, he had a pretty smooth flowing walkthrough. Like, if you look at Sharp Productions when they did theirs, like, there was a lot of people, so they were kind of going a little bit slower. But that for him, for him, he flowed right through. So Yeah, he wasn't stuck in the, like, conga line. No, yeah, for him, he was actually flowing right through, so that was really cool. But, um, yeah, that's going to do it for the coast comparison this week with our all-time favorite original mazes tune in next week for another episode of east versus west uh and until then we will see you guys soon deuces